Hey guys, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life, and this is part two of the biggest empties video I've ever done, ever. It's, there's so much stuff. Um, if you didn't see part one, it was all makeup, probably like 20 makeup products. So um, I will link to that if you haven't seen that yet. But otherwise, I have skincare, hair care, body care, and let's just jump on in. Have you seen my empties before? Do you know what's coming? It's a desert essence fragrance free hair shampoo. Hair shampoo. I'll switch you shampoo for you guys know this is my favorite shampoo i've used it literally at least 20 times i have repurchased and i actually have three backups i must have forgotten in all like the black friday sales that i had some and like put some in multiple carts and yeah i am set on this stuff forever i also stock it in my guest bathroom too so next is the shikai color reflect volumizing mousse this is literally five or six years old um it's not gone but i figured like it probably maybe shouldn't be going on my scalp anymore um and i have looked and i'm pretty sure they don't make this product anymore i don't know why because it was great um it really gave my hair a lot of grit for styling it cut down drying time um, it gave me some nice volume and fullness. Um, it's not the best ingredients, but it didn't have any scent, which is why I used it. And I'm sorry that they don't carry it anymore because I probably would repurchase because I have since repurchased a lot of different hair products and I don't love any of them, really, except for shampoo. I haven't loved any styling products in a long time. <laughs> Speaking of, this is the Inner Sense I Create Volume Lotion. Um, I'm so glad this came in a trial size because it was awful. It's literally like the thinnest gel I've ever seen and it did nothing. In fact, I think it made my hair look thinner um, and stringier and I tried it every which way and it just, like I don't even think I would gift this to someone because it just, it did nothing. The one thing I did love about it is that it didn't have a smell unlike their uh, mousse, which I think would have worked great if it smells way too strong. So if they could just like take the scent from this and make that the mousse, I would be like super thrilled. This is the Your Rock Feed Your Roots uh, mousse. I did repurchase this. This was a sample size or travel size, not sample size. And this lasted me like a couple of years, honestly. So I just repurchased the same size. And I think it, it's, it's a nice product. It smells nice. It definitely has a scent, but it's not too strong and it's not too herby. It's more like citrusy. It doesn't give me the like a lot of lift or a lot of volume, but it's better than nothing. And I do enjoy it and I haven't found anything that works better or that I like better or that I've made that's better yet. Um, so for now, I have repurchased this. I never ever think to put toothpaste in here, but this time I did. This was the Jason Power Smile Anti-Plaque and Whitening, and it's fluor fluoride free and SLS free. Um, I would not repurchase this just because I am on this like quest to remineralize my front teeth. So I am only buying remineralizing toothpaste right now. Otherwise, this was fine. It just isn't what I need. Deodorants, Green Tidings Lavender. This is great. I would definitely repurchase this. This is definitely a baking soda formula but it's not harsh so if you want some baking soda but so that it's effective but not too much that it's harsh i think this is a really great option and it is on amazon i also have the primarily pure sensitive deodorant and regular deodorant and lavender i would repurchase both of these over i think i have two of each um since I've repurchased though, I prefer the sensitive. The sensitive feels great on my skin, um, but for days when I like maybe should have showered or <laughs> um, just like I'm gonna be doing more strenuous things, I'm gonna be sweating more, I will reach for the regular. I have since heard that they like combined these into one formula. So I haven't tried the new formula, but I'm a little nervous too. I'm, I feel like it's gonna be fine, but I really loved the sensitive ready for some facial serums oh this one's a toner hold on let's try that again ready for some facial serums oh god you guys okay code humble passion fruit seed oil yes i would repurchase um they're not on amazon anymore though so it's not as easy for me to do it but this is definitely my favorite passion fruit seed oil if you can get your hands on it 
This is the Live Botanical Air Aloe and Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and you know that this is one of my new favorites, and yes, I did repurchase it already. Kipris Antioxidant Dew. So I have a love-hate relationship with this because it's so good, but it's so expensive. Um, and I wasn't gonna repurchase it, and I replaced it with the Air Serum, but I actually just did repurchase this just because it's been literally below zero and no matter how many things I'm piling on my skin, my skin just like never feels quenched. And then I started adding this back into my microemulsion just at night and my skin feels so much better. So I think this is gonna be a seasonal product for me um, as much as I don't like paying $72 for it. Um, my skin just really wants it and having taking care of your skin is important and so I'm um, just gonna like have to find that money from like my makeup budget that I don't need more of so I'm gonna say this is a seasonal pro product for me in addition to the air so right now my micro emulsion looks like one drop of this two drops of the air and a drop of passion fruit seed oil and then I'll do like a little top of blue tansy in my drier areas the blue tansy serum from Look Botanical which you know about if you watch my skincare video. This is the Audacity, oh, I said it right, Rosehip and Ylang Ylang Serum Concentrate for Deep Wrinkles. This was just like so heavy. Um, and it is a serum concentrate, so you're supposed to use like a tiny drop and mix it with your skincare like a few times a week, not even like daily. And it was nice, like it didn't smell too strong. Um, I enjoyed using it. It felt like very, uh, what am I trying to say? like skincare apothecary um i really enjoyed using it it did definitely expire um there's nothing in here anymore but if i smell the jar like i just did that's not what it smelled like in the beginning so if you do purchase one of these audacity serums definitely uh use it bef you know use it within the designated time frame this is the lemon rose maracuja oil which is the same as passion fruit seed oil and when I couldn't get the Cohen Humble one, this is the one I bought on Amazon. I think it was fine. I repurchased it. Couple of cleansers for you. One Love Organics, everyone's favorite, vitamin B, Elizabeth Dean. And uh, if you haven't tried this, do you even green beauty? <laughs> like, oh God, it's everyone's favorite. It's so good. So I have repurchased this and I waited for Black Friday to get it on Mega Sale. I got it out. 30% off at Pharmaca and that is the only way I'll buy this because it is so dang expensive and I only use it on nights when I like really need to like take off a full face like a full-on face of makeup or say I like didn't put makeup on till five and it's like really fresh or I have a lot of eye makeup on like this is a sparingly used product but it is one that I probably will always repurchase this is my everyday morning and night Olivia purifying facial cleanse. Yes, I did repurchase as I have many, many times. It's my number one recommendation for a cleanser. Ah, sad but true, you guys. True Botanicals samples. Uh, both of these smelled way, way, way too strong for me. Did this one? Yeah. Um, Pure Radiance Oil and Cell Repair Serum. I really wanted to try this Cell Repair Serum so badly and like, <clears throat> They're just too herby and too floral. They're just way too much for me. Even like opening the package, I don't even think I got them on my face. I was like, whoa, can't do it. Sadly, because I know their stuff is extremely effective. This video is like everywhere. <laughs> Lastly, I have two toning mists. Um, this is the OCC Vitamin Boost. And I loved this. First of all, it's the most gorgeous color. It has the most gorgeous scent. Um, but I've had it for quite some time and I am sure that it's expired and I just don't want a chance getting any like bacteria or anything on my skin. Um, and I should have used it more and I remember like rationing it because I was like, oh, I'm going to blow through this so fast and I don't want to. But then here I am expired wishing I had used it. Would I repurchase? Maybe. Maybe. You know what I would repurchase along the lines of Tony Mess? Right now I'm using the one from Live Botanical, the uh, Solace, <sighs> Apo, what used to be before they were Apoterra. They had a lime one that was like the most refreshing thing I've ever, ever, ever smelled in my life. 
and they don't make it anymore. That I would for sure repurchase. And right now I have two that were gifted to me by a friend um, by Audacity that are delish that I'm using. So I wouldn't repurchase it right now, but I probably would someday. This is the Cult Classic Moon Anna Rose Toner and uh, I would not repurchase the full size just because it's so dang expensive. But I do have a mini travel size that I like to use occasionally and I would repurchase that just to have it in a rotation. Um, this is like the only toner that I think actually does anything for your skin, at least on me. And it does actually have rose hydrosol on it, but it doesn't smell rosy. Like it doesn't bother me and you know I hate floral. And I just felt like it really like helped turn over your new cells, which sounds crazy. And my skin just like looked glowing and great when I used it. I just probably would not re this I think was actually gifted to me from the choosy chick. But I probably I would not repurchase a full size. I would repurchase a travel size for sure. I realized that I never keep cleaning products or uh supplements or like any other like snack foods or anything like that. I'll try to do better at that, you guys, but I just usually keep my empties bin in my bathroom which is why they don't make it up there but anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed the second half of this empties video and let me know what you thought in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video